Hello. In my video 35 I described the harvesting and storage of onions and in the process of doing that I noticed that some of them were showing signs of onion white rot. Here's a photograph from that video and you can see the white fluffy fungus around the bottom that destroys the roots and ultimately can rot the whole onion. That's caused by a fungus that apparently can remain in the soil for somewhere between 8 and 20 years so it's very difficult to eradicate and there appears to be no um, products available to treat it for the home gardener. But having looked through the internet I found a scientific paper which describes a trial that was trying to treat onion white rot. I've put the link in the description below. Um, the trial was based on putting a chemical on the soil which was either um, garlic powder or onion powder or garlic oil or onion oil or some kind of composite um, material made from allium wastes. The notion is that apparently this fungus activates when it senses a chemical called allicin which is apparently the uh, chemical that alliums give off and that gives onions and garlic their characteristic flavour and the idea or the characteristic smell and their um, the idea is that if you put some kind of extract of that on the soil when there aren't any alliums there then the fungus activates and without a host to settle upon it then dies and the scientific paper did show some successful results so with this bed where we discovered some of the onion white rot I'm going to scatter it with garlic powder. I'm going to use 500 grams of garlic powder on this bed um, for reasons that I've also described in the, the notes. It links to the same kind of dosage that was used in the scientific experiment. So let us start by sprinkling some garlic powder on the ground. This is what it uh, looked like when it was first put down. It's quite a thick covering really. What I'm doing now is just working in very slightly down to a depth of three or four inches. As you'll see underneath the video I worked out the volume being treated by considering the top 100 millimetres of soil which um, it does say I think in the paper that the fungus resides in the top layer of soil which kind of makes sense because that's where the, the onions live and so if you think about a kind of onion depth I'm just gently now working that garlic powder into into the ground by just sticking the fork in sticking the spade in to that depth and then just turning it around a little to break up the soil well that's uh, worked the garlic powder into the top three or four inches to some extent. It smells of garlic all around here and so do my fingers. It remained to be seen this morning whether anybody will ask whether I had garlic for breakfast. I'm making up the methodology here as I sort of go along but um, I imagine it would probably do no harm to just put a can of water, rain water over the top just to water it to us help it settle down and you know maybe with a bit, a bit damp it'll stop it blowing away what 
What I'm going to do now is cover the bed with weed suppressant fabric. I was going to do that anyway um, because the autumn raspberries are here and it's necessary to walk in this area to uh, to pick them so rather than get sort of dirt all over our shoes I was going to cover them up anyway but it occurs to me that it's probably quite a, an interesting addition to the experiment because presumably that will protect the soil or from any fungus that might come from elsewhere in the garden because it'll be covered with weed suppressant fabric and then I think what I'll do next year when I plant the onions and I'm going to plant them in the same location even though I wouldn't normally plant um, the same thing in the same spot I usually do quite careful crop rotation but clearly there's going to be no way of testing this without um, planting onions in the same place. Um, what I'm going to do is cut holes in the plastic in the same way you may have seen me do for all other vegetables. Here's the leeks which will be a similar sort of thing. Okay well let's uh, put the black plastic down. Okay, well that's the weed suppressant fabric in place. I think as I've said many times before, this weed suppressant fabric gets used year after year after year. So it's not single use plastic and I found it so helpful. Not only does it reduce weeding, but it retains moisture in the soil. You, the, if you cut spaces like you saw in the leak photograph for, uh, for plants to go through, that marks the spacings year after year. Here it's just covering the ground so we can walk on it without getting our, our feet dirty and also of course as part of this garlic experiment. So I definitely recommend it. Anyway, if you've tried an experiment to deal with onion white rot with garlic or with any other method, I'd be very interested to hear about it. Here is uh, my email address, gardening at huggit.info. It also appears on my channel. If you know anything more about this, do please contact me. Thank you, and I hope you found something useful or interesting in this video.